the uh They'll be looking to better that. The last meeting was at the Vietnam International Challenge in 2019, which Kim and Jong won in three games, 18-21, 21-19, 21-11. The first meeting was at the Osaka International Challenge in the quarterfinals, also in 2019, and they won that in three. 21, 23, 21, Ladies 16. and gentlemen, 
21 on my right so uh, three games are in the cards maybe Naru Tsunoda Japan and on my left Kim On Ho and Zyong Na On Korea Naru Tsunoda to serve to Kim On Ho love all play Well, Naru Shinoa will serve to get this match going. It's quarterfinal clash. It's one just wide, but Kim on who challenges, challenges that. fall out. It's called out. did look just wide from where I was sitting but being on the further end of the court hard to gauge yep, it's out it was the right decision so challenge unsuccessful lose the one challenge, challenge early remaining on in this <laughs> first game we saw that happen with one love her being Joe in the last match where play. she challenged on the very first point and now again in this match Service over, one, all. Kim Won Ho and Jeong Na Won also very good players in, or have partners in the men's doubles and women's doubles disciplines as well. Jeong Na Won with her partner Kim Hai Wong was, is number three in the world. Service over, Kim Won Ho plays two, with Choi Soo Gyu. So top 10 players in the men's and women's doubles and that just brings some variety to their game good play from Yamashita Quick are those reflexes. Japanese pressure prevails. Three, one. It's 34 shots, that one. It went by very, very quickly. Lovely. It was a drop Four. that caught Kim off one. guard. 4 1. That one there. She just took the pace out of that shuttle, went for the drop instead. Play. Kim on Ho. Not being able to return. Service over. Two. Managing four. emotions as much as it is about thinking through or playing through your strategies. Yamashita and Shinoya, this is exactly the start they would have wanted. Great smash. Big, powerful Three, jump four. smash from Kim Won Ho. Look at that. It's a really high lift, and he takes full advantage of it. It's perfectly placed. 
for all. Into the corner. And they've made it ground here for all. Paul. Paul, Paul. Service over. Five, four. Healthy was the back end. On <laughs> both Yamashita and then Shinoya. Four. Fantastic interception early on from Yamashita and then Shinoya kills off the point with the back end of the net. Service over. Five, six. Let, let, let. Again. Can we play that. Play. that. One point game. Jung, oh. she tried to absorb the Japanese attack and then that shot from Kim Won Ho straight at the body of Shinoya it's really quick, really flat makes it 6 all. out service over service 7, out. 6 from Jiang Nan. That was meant for the taking. It was Six. a loose lift of Six. Jiang's backhand. And Shinoya just pounced on that. In between the legs of the Korean. It's wide. Nine, six. So the Japanese continue to hold on to that lead. The Koreans coming and leveling scores a couple of times. They haven't been able to take over. Nice smash down the middle from Yamashita. Ten, six. Put it away nicely. That was Seven hard to one. reach for both Shinoya and Amashita. Tim, Zyong. They tried to take it early. Instead, making the mistake. from the Japanese pair mean the Koreans can find their way back two point game here which in badminton is not a lot it was quick two points as well that they made up on lovely backhand did a little pirouette on the court there Kim Won Ho
had stupendous effort from the Koreans. Nine, ten. Mixed it up really well. And killed it off at the end. It was a backhand from Kim Won Ho in that last rally that was beautiful to watch. And they're ten, ten all. All. Four point lead wiped out. Called out, just missed Stop it in one hole with a smash, and that means it's 11-10 to Yamashita and Shinoa in this quarterfinal clash. They just stay ahead by a point. to resume the first game here in the mixed doubles matchup between Japan and Korea and uh, Korea did well to close in on their opponents towards the end of that first Eleven, half they were trailing 6-10 at one point and then four straight points meant they were right back in it before Japan just narrowly edged them at the break Twelve, ten. Looking to reopen the gap that they had so comfortably created for themselves. This one. Buying their time. Still going. Yamashida's up the ante in those last two shorts. 13. Came down hard. 11. And even though Kim Won Ho was able to return the first smash, there was no way he could the second time around went right down the middle. 53 shots that rally. 13-10 is the lead that Yamashita and Shinoya have. Halt! Service the work. 11, 13. She just couldn't control it in time. Fault. It's twice now. 12, 13. Every time they make some headway here, Yamashita and Shinoya, the Koreans seem to find their way back just as quickly. Thirteen. All. Through the legs of Yamashita, that one. Kim Won Ho. Got the angle on it. 13 all. Ah! 
Well, we know that these two have Service really so close far. matches in the past. 14, one to three 13. games. But given that that was in 2019, they haven't played each other for some time and we, both pairs have come a long way since. For Yamashita and Shinoya. It's been a breakthrough season last year. On the world tour, wow. Lovely placement. Service over. By Kim Won Ho there. 14 all. So well thought out. Just pushing the shuttle over. Was actually at the 2021 World Championships that Yamashita and Shinoya emerged or announced their arrival on the biggest stages. They won bronze at the World Championships in Spain. 15, 14. Quarterfinals on the World Tour at quite a few tournaments last year including the Denmark Open Super 750 event. And here they are, and another Super 750 at the quarterfinal stage. So, they've been on the up. Service the over. Japanese. 15 all. Unexpectedly so. Neither pair is gonna have it easy. <laughs> now that's what Yamashita has done a couple of times now where 16, he's taken charge 15. with the smashes coming down hard on the front court Being that ready? time Fault. Oh. service over hit the racket of 16 yeah, sure all. That he knew it 16 all there is very little separating these two pairs at the moment. It's a lot of back and forth at the moment. Characteristic 17, 16. by Kim Won Ho at the net. We haven't seen many of those in this match yet. I'm looking to just nudge the shuttle over on that occasion. Japan give away a point all. at the net. 17 all. Work from Yamashita, the net. But Kim Won Ho in 
Jiang now doing for making all the right moves defensively. Naruto, sir. Yeah. Eventually, Shinoya caving. Well, she was at full stretch there. Service over. 18. Jung Naun, oh. but look at the drop coming off Yamashita. Eighteen all. Service over. 19, 18. So two points away from taking a very tight first game are Kim and Jung. Eighteen, nineteen. Or sorry, nineteen, eighteen. I should say. How about that for reactions of the net? Service over from Yamashita. Nineteen. Oh. Quick and fast. <laughs> drove that straight at the net. Twenty. Game He's done better with a steeper. Nineteen. Smashes. He's going for the flatter option then. He gave it away. And that means that it's game point for Kim and Jung. Game. Another mistake at the net from Yamashita. And it what is Kim and Jung who edged their opponents. And 21 19 in this first game. And it will be. A little bit concerning for the Japanese who were leading for most of this game to then give it away right at the end there. Plenty of work for them to do in the next one. Two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Second game, love all, play. How much is that ready? Out, service over, one, Love. So 
service over. One all. So with the game in hand, Kim and Jong have changed ends and looking to close this out in two. Another long rally. Well, look at that, it's still going. All oh, the defensive work of the Koreans Free. paying off there. One. It's been relentless. Constant. A little bit of miscommunication there by the Koreans. They're still going at it. Defensively sound by Korea. Ah, oh, he killed it off at an opportune time. Fantastic Four, work one. by Kim and Jong there. Turning defense into attack in superb fashion. Just look Kim at that. Jung. After such hard work mm. in the first few exchanges. 61 shots that rally. Taken a lot out of them already so early in the second game. On court. And this is what on court. the conditions can do. The slower conditions. Yeah, allowing the Koreans to put everything back into play. Kim, quick. Four, one. So Kim and Jong lead four, one. Service over. Two, four. And, uh, the task here for the Japanese will be to keep the gap small, and eventually try and turn things around. Service over. Five, two. And coming off a confident, big performance in the second round, Kim and Jong against Pua Varanuku and Tara Tanachai, the number two seeds. And when you are running on that kind of momentum, the self-belief it must be at an all-time high.
service happy with herself there, Jung Naon. Three, five. She knew she had them. The front court. Zion to receive. Both players were Zion. moving backwards, if anything. Absolutely beautiful. Four. That's five. a majestic shot from Naru Shinoya there. It's going round her head for the Kim. Kim. Drop. Kim. Keeping the so opponents what? guessing where she was going to place the shuttle. Has to close the gap to a point now. Thank you. Oh. Yamashita and Shinoya, they've made one finals appearance in the HSBC BWF World Tour, the Super 100 event. That was back in 2019 at the Akita Masters where they lost to Koreans, Ko and Eun, in two games. It's been some time where they've Four, gone five. deep into a tournament. Quarterfinals have been where most of their tournaments last year ended. Quarterfinals are lower. Halt! That was straight at Kim Won Ho. Five! All! She aimed it at his body. Kim and Jung, of course, they've not won a title on the tour together. Got to the semi-finals of the Korea Open last year, two quarter-final appearances as well in Six, Malaysia and Japan. Five. Kim Won Ho, though, on his own as a title winner with his former partner, Shin Sung Chan. They both won the Canadian Open back in 2017. We were runners up in USA in the same year. <laughs> right on the line. So She's got a deft touch at the Six moment. All. Naru Shinoya. She's really using those lines and small, sp tight spaces really well. Service of her. was hit with a vengeance. Seven, she six. apologizes Metal. straight away. Okay. Jung now in. Uh, I'm just double checking whether Narishina is court. okay, and that's great sportsmanship to witness. Check twice with her. So the intention is not to hurt your opponent at any point. Play. Eight, six. It's like in the first game, this is too close to call at the moment. Keeps exchanging hands, the lead. How good is she with these Seven, drops at the moment? Eight. Her net skills are on another level. Right in the front court, Jung had to run forward in full speed to try and make that. Thank you. Lanjas, thank you. Seven, eight. 
seven, eight. All. A faster exchange is certainly going Japan's way at the moment. Level the score. On the back end of Yamashita. Service over. Nine, eight. Kim Won Ho decided to attack. Successful. Ten, eight. And just when they've made some ground here, Japan gets taken away just as quickly by their opponents who are. Willing to buy the time. Look at that. That's excellent stuff from Kim Won Ho. Cross court smash to secure the lead at the break. 11 8. Kim and Jung are a game and three points up at the mid game break. Players back on court to restart this quarterfinal match between uh, Yamashita Shinoya and Kim and Jung. 11, 8. The Koreans Play. who are ranked 19 in the world are leading by a game and three points at the moment in a good position. To secure a semi final berth, but they've been made to work really hard for this lead. There's no doubt the Japanese will keep coming at them. Just like that. Service of our they move nine really well. 11. As a partnership, Yamashita and Shinoya, and then the ability to change the speed and the pace of the shuttle has caused quite a few problems for the Korean pair. Lucky with the 12 9 net shot there. <laughs> Jung Naun. Jung, are you okay? Just taking a moment. Jung? Medical. She's hurt herself, it seems. Jung Naun. She immediately dropped her racket to the floor. I think it's her thumb or her finger. She seems to be in pain. I'll call for the doctor. Straight away she dropped her racket on the court. 
and was leaning over in a bit of pain. That's what it looked like. It's hard to understand what they were trying to. It is her hand that is hurting. She's in a fair bit of pain from the looks of it. Maybe it was because she was on the floor trying to break her fall there. She used her hand to break her fall. Yeah, you are going to do that. Twelve, nine, play. We're going to have this game restart at 12 9 to Kim and Jong after a minor injury scare. Jung. They're both going in the same direction. Kim Won Ho, superb at the net, 13, supreme. Nine. With that net shot, He's found that space in the front court, impossible for the opponents to get to. Jung now in back in action. Luckily, it's the hand she doesn't use to hold the racket that she got her injury on, but you'd Stop imagine she'd be a little bit tentative at the 10, moment. 13. Till she the pain eases on the left hand oh, nice completely took the base off that 14 shot there 10 almost deceptive in the way she Launched at that drop. Change. Four point lead. Thank you. Play. That's great placement. It just Ten. seems that the Japanese pair have been quiet and in the last few points by Kim and Jung. Not as quick on their feet as they were earlier on. Yep. Again, going for the body of 16. Shinoya. Ten. Aiming it straight at her, and that makes it really hard to reply. There, right at her. And so she's almost got to push the shuttle away without being able to control it as well. It's a good save. That time, Yamashita attacking the backhand. 11, 16. Of Jung. Still a five-point lead and in a good space to be for Team Korea. Got there just in time, but again, a Seven loose lift. 17, 11. A loose return from there, from uh, Yamashita meant Kim Won-ho could absolutely jump on it. there <laughs> 
service to work. Twelve. Jump down. Seventeen. She's trying to figure out her forehand, but just look at the way she's holding her racket with the other hand. You know that she's struggling a little bit. It's very tender in the way she's holding onto the racket on her service left hand. Eighteen. Twelve. Service. Error. Came at the wrong time. Means that Kim and Jung are now just three points away from a victory here. A place in the semi finals. Got to keep the pressure on. 13, Yamashita and Shinoya. 18. Over. 19 13. For some reason the Japanese pair coming undone when it matters most to be alert. They've just not been able to create the same kind of inroads that they had in the first Hold game. Back. Big smash from Kim Won Ho at the back four. 20 sets match up. Point. Multiple match points here. Look at that. Smacked it right down on towards the backhand of Shinoya. Oh, how good was that? About 14, Kim Won Ho on 20. the floor trying to get to the drop shot from Shinoya. She's had some of these beautiful shots at the net. Like Shinoya. And it's completely taken their Koreans by surprise. One match point saved. Six more to go. Jung. You do. 14, 20. That's gone long. 15, Missed 20. That completely. Jung Naun have the cushion of five more match points here. The Koreans. Yeah. It was a defensive work that paid off in the end. Kim Won Ho and Jung Naun managing to pull through in straight games despite Yamashita and Shinoya's best efforts. 21-19, 21-15 victory Good game. in 49 Good minutes game. and the Koreans book a Match spot on by in the semi-finals. Kim Ho and Jung Naun 21 19, 21 15.
We're coming to you live from the KD Jadav Indoor Hall in New Delhi, India for the Yonex Sunrise India Open 2023. This is quarterfinal action that's taking place here on court two. We are three matches done into the fourth match, which is the women's doubles. And the number eight seeds from Malaysia, Pali Tan and Tina Murli Taran taking on Rin Iwanaga and Kei Nakanishi of Japan. That's what's coming up very, very shortly on court two, but also four more matches to go after that in the men's doubles, men's singles, and women's doubles with two world number one player pairs in action. We're gonna focus on the women's doubles now and that quarterfinal between Tan and Muri Tarin is against Iwanaga and Nakanishi. The winner of that will face the winner of the Aimsad sisters and Matsuya Mashida, number two seeds with Chen Ching Chen and Jai Fan potentially awaiting them in the final. As we wait for the players to take to the court. And there they are, Perli Tan and Tina Morelli Theron of Malaysia, number eight seeds. And uh, 